Hello, hello, and welcome to this video. This video is actually beginning of our new series on Python iterators and Python generators. So we'll begin by looking at Python iterators and gradually move to Python generators. So let's begin with Python iterators. And before we actually begin, we, let's see what, what are we going to look at in Python iterators as on a very fundamental level. So these are some uh, like important concepts that we are going to look at. And then we will also develop a deep understanding on Python iterators. So now let's begin. And on your screen, you should be able to see uh, question and answers. These are very fundamental questions and let's try to understand what they, what every question asks and what is the answer for it uh, so that we know what are we going, what are we talking about? If they are really important. You can say they are jargons in iterators and we should really understand them before we uh, begin with understanding uh, iterators even more. So first question says, what are iterables? Iterables, um, iterables are every objects that you should be able to iterate on it. All those are iterables, but technically what iterable is, an iterable is an object which returns an iterator. In Python, any object that returns an iterator or any object that you are able to retrieve an iterator from is an iterable. Uh, what is an iterator? We are going to see that. Uh, what are iterators? Now iterators are another objects, uh, another object which helps us iterate over an iterable. Okay, if, if that seemed confusing for iterable and iterators, let me explain it to you. For example, Python lists, list is an iterable and we can extract an iterator out of it. And using that iterator, we can loop over the Python list. So that's what the analogy I can draw at the moment. But if you are still confused, you should not worry because we have just started, you just, you can just understand what's written on the screen. And if you didn't, we'll, we'll gradually build our concepts. So that's okay. What objects provide, what objects provide rit, uh, the, or return the iterators? So what are the objects? Uh, as I said, Python lists return an iterator, but that's, that's not the exact answer, but uh, the exact answer would be any object that implements iter or get item methods as mentioned on the screen any one of at least one of these uh, methods if any any of the object implements then that object is capable of returning an iterator and that makes them an iterable so those are the objects so basically in, in short I, if i have to say that uh, what objects return iter iterators uh, only iterable returns an iterators and iterable implement at least one of these object one of these methods uh, in them. So how do we extract an iterator out of an iterable? So how do we extract? Actually, we extract it using iter function. Uh, one thing I just wanted to tell is that iter function is something that you will not be using uh, very frequently, though there will be some special cases where you may have to use it, but iter function is mostly used by Python itself and not by us in most of the cases but there are definitely some cases where you may have to use iter. Now, what once you have an iterator, what can you do with it? That's the next question. What can you do with the iterators? Okay, one simple thing is that you can loop over an iterable using that. You can perform list comprehensions. You can unpack assignments. Uh, let's see what they are. I've just put some basic uh, example here for loops. You're fa you fairly understand what are what is a for loop, so you can simply uh, loop over an uh, over a list. List is an iterable. Uh, well, you ask, okay, where is an iterator? Uh, iterator is actually being fetched by for loop. This entire syntax it actually fetches the iterator under the hood and it is abstracted from us. We will see uh, and we will actually code and will code and extract iterator probably in the next video but for now just understand that there is an iterator being used under under the hood and that is helping us to loop over every item in the list and what is the list comprehension if you know about list comprehension it's fine but if you don't then it's okay it's, it's not a mandatory thing to know here but uh, you can 
initialize a list um, in just one statement uh, and it like dynamically. So that's something that we are doing here. Uh, if you if you print L1, it will print all the numbers between uh, 1 to 10, uh, excluding 11. And now uh, what is unpacking assignments? So if you have ever uh, written or seen this code where from a list or a tuple, you are able to assign individual variables. For example, uh, these X, Y, and Z are going to take one, one, two, four values respectively. For example, X is going to take one, Y is going to take two, and Z is going to take four. I'm just printing it in some different order here uh, so that you actually understand, okay, yes, what I'm, what, what I'm saying is correct. So let me print out this. Example one. So you see I'm printing age here. So age is 30 to 33, 30, 31, 35, 33. I'm printing age till here. This is printing all the numbers from one to 10. That's what this list comprehension did. And then unpacking assignments, I'm, I'm printing Z, Y, X. So I'm printing four to one with, with Z having value four, Y having value two and X having value one. So that's what we are doing here. So I hope you understand uh, understood some some basic, I, I, or at least you have a gist of what we are trying to do here. There is iterable, there is iterator, then there is iter method, and then there is get item method. Uh, just just hang in there. We are going to learn about them shortly. Uh, if not in this video, in this series, you will be very much comfortable with using these terms. Okay, let's look at another example. And this example, uh, I want to tell that any any object that, as I said, any object that implements iter method or the get item method is an iterable because it can return iterator. You can you can get iterator out of it. But and also I have told that how how can you fetch an iterator out of an iterable? You can fetch using iter, but that's okay. Right now, in this example, what I'm trying to show here is that I have created one class that has implemented iter and get item. And though they seem to be, though it seems, let's say I remove iter for now. This class can still return or generate an iterator because it is an iterable at the moment. But there is some incons un inconsistency. If you create a, an object of employee record and you try to, well, you can actually loop over it. Let me comment these, but let's try to see. You can loop over it. We will see how get item works, but for now, because we have implemented get item, we can loop over this object because this object has this get item method. So let me clear and if I try to loop. So you see we have all the player names. Player names are initialized here. This when you when you create this object, it, it actually have this, it actually has this employee names, which is having a list where we have mentioned all the players. And when you try to loop over it, we print all the players. How we are able to print it? We are able to print because we have this get item method. How that get item works, we are going to see it for now. Just bear with me. So we, you saw that uh, having, okay, if you don't believe me, let me remove this get item and let's try to loop over it and see what happens. You see, it says employee record object, which is ER is not iterable. I hope that made sense that at least now you believe me that get item really makes an object iterable. So if you run again, you'll print, you'll be printing, you'll be able to print it. But let's say you have this ER object and you want to check whether it is really iterable. You can do so by using the is instance, uh, is instance method or function in Python that is provided by default in its standard library. So you can try doing it. As I said, there is one inconsistency. Though this object is an iterable, 
technically it is not recognized by the iterable uh, this iterable uh, type abc this is uh, present in the collections ab uh, abc uh, if you try to print okay if it is an is instance er which is abc iterable it will print you false you see false here let me remove this for for now also if um, you try to see if it is a subclass of abc iterable the employee record that the, this is the class that i have implemented here uh, it will return you false so these two are false statements even though i said that this class is iterable it is not record it is not recognized by abc iterable here uh, however if i include this iter method I, as i said either of iter or get item will make your class iterable will make your object iterable so and remove this get item for now let's try to run and see what happens you see that it prints true now why actually it is recognized by uh, this iter is actually recognized by your abc iterable abc iterable uh, a subclass or sub in is instance it is it is recognized by abc iterable uh, which means if you are stuck in a scenario where you have implemented get item and you have an object and if you really want to check that if that object is an iterable because it it may have implemented get item uh, is instance or is subclass doesn't seem to be a really good candidates for it Thank <laughs> you.